Hello and welcome to We Are Finn. We're here in Manchester for Industry 4.0 and for a show that's all about digitizing the manufacturing process. I have to say, there's an awful lot of talk about skills and people. The summit's opening panel discussion addressed head on the challenges of delivering Britain's fourth industrial revolution. And it wasn't all about robots and digital. Most of the people we're going to be relying on in the 2030s in industry, in aerospace and defence, are in the world of work today. So what we've recognised is it's critical that we, we don't just employ good talent, but we grow uh, and develop good talent in, in our organisations to embrace the future, because it's, it's coming at us quite fast now. Industry 4.0 technology, including 3D printing and augmented and virtual realities, have been adopted across aerospace and defence as a way of reducing development time and increasing productivity. The main thing is that they can start uh, having uh, real products with a very good uh, mechanical properties at uh, first time, uh, starting with prototypes, but again they can move to the actual production very fast. Uh, at the same time, uh, there is a, a challenge and a continuity on developing uh, the certification. Uh, because our space uh, industry requires specific and tight certifications, but all, all of it is uh, moving uh, towards uh, uh, the best uh, possible way. And Andy Biller from Holovis highlighted their work with BAE Systems in the training environment and also speeding up the manufacturing process. One of the big problems that people are bringing to us, and it's a core theme in these things, are people are coming to us and saying, can you monitor and tell us whether we actually built what we intended to build? So a lot of our solutions are focused around bringing native CAD from our customers into VR solutions and then being able to compare what they actually have in the real world with what we have in the virtual world. Jean-Luc Bedoc from Dassault Systems gave us an in-depth view of the process of digitizing the manufacturing process, but he also gave a cautionary note. All of those technologies, uh, mature or emerging, should be used against uh, a goal. You don't digitize to digitize, you digitize because you want to transform your company, and the transformation of your company is hardly dependent of what you want to do of your business. Samir Savani, head of innovation and engineering from the ADS Group, gave us a great insight to the prize awaiting those companies that address Industry 4.0 adoption sooner rather than later. People are now starting to act on it, but really our key message is around starting at the end. So really getting companies to understand what their business challenges are, where they can make those gains, and then um, start talking about the technology from that perspective. So understanding where it can be applied, where it can drive value. And we also had the opportunity to sit down with Gulfstream CIO Cheryl Bunton and discuss in depth her thoughts on the aerospace industry, the key challenges, and even what keeps her awake at night. Every CIO in the world wonders, is this going to be the night when they call me? <laughs> uh, I have a very, very strong team, a particularly strong security team, so I sleep more, um, but I think, I think that's the CIO burden. So that's it from Industry 4.0 here in Manchester. For the latest on everything aerospace and defence, of course, get online right now. You'll find all our news and reports at wearefin.com.